Aneurysmal bone cyst. The typical location of aneurysmal bone cysts are the posterior elements of the vertebrae or the long bones, such as the distal femur and proximal tibia. Aneurysmal bone cysts are destructive, expansile lytic lesions, contain cavities filled with blood. This expansile lytic lesion could expand greater than the width of the growth plate or the width of the bone. Patients with aneurysmal bone cysts are usually younger than 20 years old. The lesion is usually located in the metaphysis. There is usually a preostial rim around the lesion. However, the lesion can expand into the soft tissue. MRI or CT scan could show fluid fluid lines or levels. This lesion can occur as a primary lesion and it will express USP6 translocation or it can be secondary and can be associated with underlying lesions in 30% of the time, such as giant cell tumor, fibrous dysplasia, chondromaxoid fibroma, or chondroblastoma. Pathology Blood-filled cysts and lakes of blood with fibrous stroma that may have giant cells. Differential diagnosis. The aneurysmal bone cyst can be confused with two entities on x-rays. Number one, a simple bone cyst. Number two, telangiectatic osteosarcoma. Another differential diagnosis is giant cell tumor. Aneurysmal bone cyst may mimic giant cell tumor pathologically because it contains giant cells. The clinical exam, patient may have pain, a swelling, or may have a fracture, which is rare. Rarely, the patient may have neurological deficit if the lesion occurs in the spine and is pushing or pressing on the nerves. Treatment. You start with non-operative treatment if there is a fracture. But the treatment is usually curettage of the cyst and bone graft. The recurrence of aneurysmal bone cyst occurs in approximately 25% of the cases. The highest rate of recurrence occurs in patients with open growth plates. Thank you very much. I hope this lecture was helpful to you.